Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing a video about a REC miner. Um, this is the REC version 2 and I will show you how to upgrade the SD card to something like this. This is a SanDisk Extreme Pro, as you can see right here. It is 128 gigabytes and it has fast read and write speeds. Now you might ask, why do you want to upgrade? Well, basically I want to upgrade for the speed and stability, but also some extra space uh, is going to be fine until the light hotspots is implemented. Um, so I will show you how to do this upgrade. First, what you want to do is you want to flip your rack miner and you want to open your little sticker here. Um, you can do that just by using a knife. Just cut underneath it, kind of wiggle it there, get it off like so. There you go. It's not pretty, but it is off. Now what you want to do now is you want to grab maybe a pair of pliers. Um, I happen to have a pair from my iFixit kit that I will be using. Um, look like this. And I'm just going to grab the SD card and I'm going to remember how it is um, positioned. So as we can see, it's a SanDisk high endurance, 32 gigabytes, and it was positioned like this. So the back of the card needs to go towards the up of the miner. So I'll put that there. Now for this uh, card right here, you need to flash it first. So you need a computer and need a card reader. And uh, I'll show you how to flash it right now. And then we'll put the card back inside. So let's do that. We're here on the computer. Um, here is a guide on how to replace the micro SD card on your hotspot. Now bear in mind that this procedure should only be used for MNT and REC version 1.5 or 1.2 hotspots. So that is my hotspot. If you have a REC version 1, there is another way to do it. Um, because the identity is stored on the SD card. So you need to make a backup first. But we don't need to do that. So first I need to download the firmware. I'm going to press this link and it should download the firmware for me. Um, while that downloads, we can just uh, read the guide. Um, so here it is saying that the best starting option is right now this update. Um, and then it, the miner itself will update later. You want to install Belena Etcher IO uh, simply because it is the best uh, flashing software. And you might want to new use a new SD card. I used the big one, as you saw in the video. Um, the first thing you always want to do is power off the miner. We did that. Carefully peel off the tape. We did that. Take the SD card. Take it out. We did that. Remove the SD card. Flash the SD card using the Lena Etcher. All right, now let's do that. We will flash from file, and we will find the zip file, which is this one, the image. And we will press open, and then we will select the target. And my target is... Actually, my target is not here. Why is it not here? Give me one second. All right, so I didn't plug it in correctly, but as you can see now, here it is 128 gigabytes. So I'm gonna choose that, press select, then I'm simply going to press flash. Then I need to type my password for the computer. All right, so that was it. It didn't take very long and it is now flashed. So you can go ahead and close down Belena Etcher, close up your computer and eject the SD card and we'll be putting it back into the miner. So yeah, we'll do that now. All right, now here we have the new SD card that has just been flashed. We want to insert that into the sole right here where you can see the, the little pins. Um, it is important that you position it the right way. If you don't, it won't work. So I'm going to try to do this while the camera is running. Just like so. Press it in. Maybe use the pliers to make sure that it's seated. All right, the new SD card is in, and if you want to reuse the sticker, you can put it back on. I don't know if mine will stick, but 
give it a try. Yeah, kind of works. So yeah, that is it for this video. Now you can just power up your miner and it needs to resync to the network. And once that is done, it should be working. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And if you didn't, that's completely fair. Have a nice day and I will see you.